What's up today, my wonderful family? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Devotions with Demarcus. Let's get right into the word today. Today we are in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2, and it reads, When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility, I'm going to say it again. Let me make sure my mic on. All right, there we go. We good. But with humility comes wisdom. Y'all, we got to walk in humility. Okay, it says right here, but with humility comes wisdom, meaning that God is literally shaping you up and molding you and teaching you as you go when you walk lightly, when you walk in terms of being humble. Teach me, Lord. See, you got to have a teachable spirit. Don't walk around here prideful like you would know it all. That's what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy wants you to slip into pride. But what is God showing us? God is teaching us, listen, strength is for service and not for status. Right? I'm going to say it again. Strength is for service and not for status. It is God who built you the way that you're built and you're durable. Right? But don't slip into the pride category, man, because that become annoying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That becomes annoying, man. Don't be prideful. You know, don't be prideful. Many people, they fall into the, <laughs> into the category talking about self-made. They go to their Instagram uh, bio and they type, I'm self-made. I did all this myself. That's right where the enemy wants you at, you know, because what you do when you start talking like that, you li you literally stamp yourself, right? You stamp yourself, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, in the opposite direction. You're not stamping yourself with God. You're stamping yourself with the enemy. People look at that and they say, oh, okay, I understand what he's about. He's he's presenting himself as, as a guru, right? See, y'all, we trying to build God's kingdom. We're not trying to build our own kingdom. Many people, they're so thirsty for attention. You know, they're they're uh, they're so far down that trail of pride that they don't understand that they're even down a trail of pride. They just think that the world revolves around them. Okay, so I'm just trying to help you out so you don't find yourself going down that road. And perhaps if you are going down that road, understand that today is your day, right? to turn around simple as that you know you can pray to god say lord i submit my life to you i don't want to be prideful i want to be used by you forgive me for being prideful show me your ways lord i i want to I open my heart to you i want a teachable and a reachable spirit in jesus name amen like you gotta you gotta talk to god understand god can make the crooked things straight he can make that incision with precision that leads you to the decision to walk in humility. Because right here, with humility comes wisdom. That's, that's, when, that's when you get more revelation. You understand? It says right here, but with humility comes wisdom. Think about it in the classroom. Let's just say high school, 11th grade, right? 10th grade, right? I'm not sure. Whatever grade you want you. Like, if you go ask the teacher a question, like a homework question, hey, on the homework page 382, uh, I'm having trouble with number three. I couldn't figure it out. Do you mind uh, helping me with it? Teacher will be more than happy to help you. Why? You came humbly. You're walking in humility. You're asking the teacher for their guidance. They stay up to class, man. It's been three hours trying to help you understand the math problem. You know what I mean? But man, if you too prideful, Man, ain't nobody. Hey, that teacher ain't staying at the class or nothing, man. I'm trying to tell you, humility is what's going to get you the wisdom, right? Let me see if I got anything else in my notes. Look, pride is isolating and limiting. When you're prideful, man, you you, you isolate and it limits you. you. You can't go no further being prideful. Now, the enemy will take you up, but it's only to pull from what's under you to make to embarrass you, to make you fall on your face. So pride is limiting and isolating, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and pride will fool you. See, pride pride will present itself as strength, but it but it's really not. You understand what I'm saying? It's all a trick of the enemy. You know? Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for giving us another wonderful day. We want to say we love you. We understand, Lord, that strength is for service and not for status. Lord, we, hum we humbly come to you. Lord, say, forgive us for all of our sins. Lord, if we've been prideful, please forgive us. We choose to walk in humility. Lord, show us your way. Show us your word. Your word says right here in Proverbs 11, 2, when pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. Lord, teach us. 
We're able and available. Meet for the master's use. We open our hearts to you today and we choose to walk in humility. We are no longer, no longer looking to the world for validation. If there's any pride in us, we ask you to remove it right now. Cleanse us. Your word says, creating us a clean heart, Lord. Renew a right spirit within us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, love you all so much. Listen, if you made it to the end of this video, place a check mark. That's right, check in. That lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Uh, hit a thumbs up in the, uh, I'm tripping over my words. You know what I'm talking about. Hit the thumbs up button, man. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell on the side of the video so you know notified every single time a new video is up. 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time, every single day, new video will be up. Hey, share the video with a friend. I love you so much, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.